up, everybody? My name is Gilbert Church. I'm a high school strength and conditioning coach. I'm a PE teacher in Harlem. And today, we're going to be talking about the most frequently asked question I always get, which is, hey, Church, how do I lose weight or how do I gain weight? And my response is always the same. You got to track your food and you got to track your weight. And here are a couple of typical responses. Yo, bro. You want me to track my food? You want me to take my weight all the time? What are you, nuts? Ooh, you want me to track my food? That, that seems a bit much, really. I don't, I don't know if that's the best option for me. Oh my god, what? That's like, that's like a lot. Like tracking all your food? Oh my god. Oh my god, whoa. That's, that's just, I think that's too much for me. Like, I don't, I don't know if I can do that. Meat is better than tracking. What are you, crazy? No way. No way. That's no way to live life. It just feels very restrictive on life. Like every time you eat, writing down the amounts that you, you ate. I mean, wow. So restrictive. Like chains on you, really. Chains. Chains. Oh my god, that's like math. It's a lot of math. Like, you have to add things together. Like, calculate, calculate, calculate calories. You have to track macros to lose weight? What? Uh, calories is really important? What? No way. Oh my god. That just seems so hard. And just like, like really challenging. I don't know if anyone could do that. No one could do that. Calculations? Food? Track weight? No, 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 no. I mean, yeah, like I'm trying to put on weight, like I'm trying to put on like some muscle, like I gotta build on this frame right here, this is not enough, but like, I'm also trying to stay jacked and like also like not fat, but like, but yeah, I'm gonna put on some muscle. But you want me to track my calories? You want me to measure this stuff? Oh my God, bro, bro, bro. I mean, of course I want to, weight. I always say, you know, all the good studies say that the healthiest people on this planet are the ones that are skinny and, and losing weight. I do this for health purposes. That's it. No aesthetics here. What if I go out to eat? Like I'm with my boyfriend and then I'm with my other boyfriend and I have to track both of those with both of those meals. Like what if one boyfriend notices the other, the other meal? I don't like it. That, oh my God. Oh my God. Eliminate vegetables, lose weight. That's how carnivore diet works. Yeah. Bro, I'm just trying to live my life, right? Like, I'm just trying to eat some foods. I'm trying to stay jacked. I'm trying to do my thing. And you want me to track my food? That's just, like, so much work. Like, how much extra work is that? That's crazy. That is crazy. I mean, of course, I'm, I, you know, I do a vegetarian diet. There's no need to track macros when you're on a vegetarian diet you're going to lose weight you've eliminated so many foods that i mean how could you not lose those calories the, the, the tracking just seems completely unnecessary and, and and weighing yourself every morning that could be damaging emotionally listen beyonce all she does is a juice cleanse and she does it like once every three months and she is beyonce so what are you gonna say to that what are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? After that, I usually ask, well, if you're not tracking, how's your progress going? And then this happens. How's my progress going? You know, um, it's obviously going great. Um, I don't really know because I didn't weigh myself or track where I started from, but yeah, yeah, no, doing great, doing great, yeah, yeah. How's my progress? Oh, uh, I, um, I don't really, uh, I don't really know, and, uh, didn't measure where I started from, really. How's my progress? I mean, I'm a skinny queen, aren't I? I just, I don't, I don't really know. I, yeah, I'm a skinny queen. I think I'm like doing well, like I definitely want to do better. Progress? Mm. 
not sure. Listen, I don't mean to be a buzzkill for your new diet. If you're trying something new and it's working and you like it and you feel good and you're looking healthier, awesome. Continue to do it. But at the end of the day, no one's ever going to convince me that anything is ever more scientific than just simply measuring your food and measuring your body's reaction to that food. And it's not that hard. That's the real thing I want to make this video about. Measuring food seems to be this huge mental block that people have whenever I bring it up. I say, well, you know, you should start tracking your weight and tracking your food and I get these horrendous reactions from it. Listen, it's not that hard. All you need is some measuring cups, a food scale, and a people scale, or just, you know, an animal scale or whatever, you know, a scale. Do you know how long it takes to place food on a food scale and mark down how much it weighs? Like 20 seconds. Do you know how long it takes to fill up a measuring cup with something as opposed to just throwing it into a bowl? Adds like 20 seconds, maybe 10 seconds. Why do I know that four ounces of 90% ground beef top round from Stu Leonard's is 24 grams of protein and six grams of fat? Because the human mind can memorize things. You memorize your multiplication facts, you can probably memorize a couple fast nutrition facts about the macros of the foods you're eating. It's not that hard. What if something doesn't have nutrition facts? Oh my God, Google it. Put that orange on the food scale, see how much it weighs, Google. Two ounces of orange. It will provide the answer, promise you. That's the thing. This is not that hard, it's not that difficult. If this is sounding like a rant, it's because it is. People have such an adverse uh, effect whenever I say you should measure your food, measure your weight, and then track against it. And at the end of the day, it's not hard, it's just new. It's a new routine to get into. It's something you have to try. Does it make you prepare your food a little bit more? Sure. Do you have a goal of gaining weight or losing weight though? Because if that's the case, this is the best way to go about doing it. This is the number one way for you to actually understand the process of gaining or losing weight, which again, at the end of the day, is just the simple equation of calories in versus calories out. That's my rant. I've got it out of my system. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like or a subscribe, and I will see you next time.